Hello there and welcome to video 5 where we are going to be looking at interpreting requirements from a client brief as part of the GCSE iMedia uh, course. So in this video it's nice, easy and simple. We're going to be looking at how you can interpret client requirements and what briefs you can be given. So if you are given client requirements purpose uh, for pre-production we need to be thinking about five different areas. Purpose, theme, style, genre and content. You need to make sure that when you're looking at client requirements, you're thinking about the purpose of what the client is wanting and also what the requirements are showing. You need to make sure that you're happy with the theme and styling of the client requirements to ensure that you're able to create something which fits in with what they want. Genre is also really, really important. You need to make sure that you're, what you're creating and what you're going to be designing and planning will be fitting in with the genre of what the client is wanting. And finally, we need to be thinking about content. Content is king. You need to make sure that if you are designing something or creating something, the content that you've got in mind also tallies up with the person who you're creating the information and the stuff for. If you get given a brief, uh, you're going to, it's going to come up in different ways, so it could be a client discussion. These are one of the best ways to get information because when you're sat down with the client, you can ask them specific information. You can ask them if they've got any ideas, you can ask them if, they, if you've got anything they've seen in the past and want to try and mimic. You can ask them if they've seen other examples of work previously done. You can talk to them about colour schemes, font usage, and it's all really nice and clear for you to do. If you get given a brief, sometimes it might be quite brief, if you uh, pardon using the phrase too many times, um, or it might be very, very specific. Again, that's an area to be looking at. If you are looking at a script, you can make sure that you're happy with what is needed. If it's looking at dialogue, if it's got audio in there, if it's got conversations in there, if it's clear from what you need to do. Also, specifications. Specifications are overviews of what's needed. So, for example, there's a specification for the GCSE iMedia content provided by OCR for your teachers, which provides them through everything that they need to be covering in the exam. Everything that you can do with a brief here, you can then interpret using these five here. There is such a strong link if we say, for example, go for a client discussion, that in the client discussion you talk about the purpose of what is needed, the theme, the, genre, the style, the genre, the content. There's much information you can get from a brief is going to be better for you because then you've got a clear idea of what you're going to be needing to do. So we've looked at um, how to interpret client requirements. We've looked at what briefs you can be given. You need to make sure that when we're looking at briefs that you're going into it as much detail as possible, that you've got as much information as possible. If you get given a very brief brief, you need to then be able to highlight these are the areas that I know about and that I'm happy with. These are the areas that I need more help with. These are the areas that I've got more questions to have and ask. I hope this video has been helpful for you and if you get stuck, feel free to leave a comment in the comments section below and I'll see you in a future video. Goodbye.